the Daily Code Snippet. Today we will start to look more in detail at the most commonly used form inputs. We will start with the type attribute, which allows a single line input of text. A typical use is to collect a user's name. You will notice not only the use of the form and input elements, but also the inclusion of the label element. The label element attaches information so the user knows what data is sought from them. The label element is also added for accessibility. A screen reader will read out the label when the user focuses on the input element. In addition, users who have difficulty clicking in the, a small region will be assisted by the label element because it can toggle checkboxes and radio buttons when the text is clicked. The for attribute in the label element is used to bind the label to the ID attribute of the input element. So in this case, the first label with the for attribute of first name will attach that label to the first input, which has an ID attribute of first name. This way, the user knows that the first input field is for the user to enter their first name. The name attribute for the input element is also used for identification purposes. In this case, it is a way for that input to be identified for JavaScript actions and for the form to pass its data to the collection method by which the data is gathered. Each input field must have a name attribute for the data to be sent. Presented by Designers Learn Code.